Welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to talk about my latest purchase. When I last left you on the 350 engine, I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go into it yet. I was talking about a couple different things. Well, I finally came to a, a let's say an epiphany of what I wanted to go with it. When I was a kid, uh, back in the 70s, one of the big engines of Akron on the street was the 383 Bullpark. They were all over the place, Plymouth Roadrunners, Dodge Super Bs, Dodge Chargers, uh, and they ran. Um, I remember going to the 8th Mile Drag Strip when I was a kid, a lot of guys ran them. A lot of the stock cars at the uh, local racetrack ran them. Uh, they ran. Then in the 80s, when I was a teenager, one of the big engines was the 383 cubic inch small block Chevy. Some guys figured it out, take a 350 cubic inch Chevy, drop a 400 small block crank in there, voila, 383 small block, and they would run. Uh, guys used to put them in Monzas, Novas, they were a strong running engine. They're still around today. I mean, you can still buy crate engines from Jegs, Summit. Um, most of them are, you know, in the 400 horse range, 400 foot, over 400 foot pounds of torque. Nice little engines. So with the Pontiac, I kind of had that 383 in my head, and I read a couple articles online Ace Brewer back in the 2000s came up with a kit uh, when he was uh, running Pacific uh, Performance Racing for the 350 Pontiac to turn it into a 383 Stroker. In fact, Steve Magani wrote an article about it. It's online, Revenge of the 350 Pontiac, I believe, or something like that. It's a nice little article. It tells a lot about the engine, and they got 462 horsepower out of that engine. Um, not going to probably get that kind of horsepower out of this one, but... That's the direction I want to go. Uh, I've talked to, uh, I'm flying with a lot of the Pontiac community, which by the way, the Pontiac community is great. Uh, if you ever get into Pontiacs, I'll tell you, get online, talk to these guys, they're very helpful. Um, I've, you know, been into different car, kinds of cars over the year. The only other community that I've ever found out that, that was this helpful, believe it or not, was the Hudson community, which I grew up with because that's what my dad restored, was Hudson's. In fact, I still have one of his, but very helpful and pointing me in the right direction on some things. There were some guys that said, build a 400, it's cheaper. Yes, it is, but that's not the direction I wanted to go. And since cars are about being an individual, an individuality, this is what I wanted to do. So I went online and bought a forged RPM crank. Uh, it's a Pontiac crank with a four inch stroke. Now. The stock 350 and the stock 400 have a three and three quarter inch stroke, 3.750. And this is basically taking that stroke out, you know, another uh, quarter inch. And with that, with a 30 inch overboard in the 350, comes out to um, 3.905. Voila, you got a 383 cubic inch engine. And that's where I'm going to do with it. And this is the crankshaft I bought. Like I said, it's a forge crank. Oh, no. Bit heavy. There it is. It's my crank. And I will get it set up in the garage and we'll do another little video on it. Well, take care everybody and God bless.